with Stacy from the uh, RARC club. What was your thoughts on the first day of racing out here? Uh, the action's kind of tight and uh, the cars are all kind of closely paced for uh, you know being competitive. It's not a uh, one car out front and follow the leader like it has been in the past. So it's really exciting this year. Uh, I'm not a big circle track fan, so uh, it's actually quite interesting for me to watch, you know. So uh, for the novice uh, stock car um, fan, it, it's quite interesting. It's back to what it was back in the day when, uh, you know, cars are competitive. Uh, positions change four or five times for about a 15 lap race, which is very interesting to watch. Uh, over the years, I've seen where, you know, the cars separate uh, three laps, it's follow the leader. Uh, this year there's a lot of intense uh, competition, which is really nice. Well, we got four classes running out here, right? We got the mini stock class, four banger anger guys. We got the pro fours, and then we got the hobby stocks and the street stocks. So, what are your thoughts so far about the, the mini stock class, which we're expecting to grow? Uh, we're hoping it grows. Uh, it's kind of kind of kind of parse for uh, attendance right now, but uh, we're hoping it grows. It's an economic one to get into. Uh, there's not a lot of big money in the engines and setup and stuff. So, you know, basically take your street car, tweak it a little bit, put a few safety items in, and you're good to go. So that's, uh, hopefully it'll grow. Uh, there's more and more people that are driving that kind of vehicle for a daily driver. So hopefully it grows into a more of a competitive class and uh, and numbers will grow. That's what we're working towards. So well, as I understand it, they need a master kill switch. They need a fire extinguisher. They need hood pins. And then they need their helmet and their fire suit and they're good to go tape up the windows and it's pretty quick and easy to go in that class that could be i'm not much up on the rules uh yeah, you know making sure the track's ready the the dirt is leveled out so they can go around the track making sure the concessions operating the bathrooms are working that's my job that's but the rule the what the rules are and stuff uh you got to talk to somebody in the class about that that's not my department we talked with mike longfrey there with the pro four class he said there was going to be about nine cars out next week in that little class there, there's over 12 cars in the vicinity that run in that class they're uh <clears throat> modified built tube chassis they're all built quite similar they're all running basically the same type of engine transmission rear end combination it's just a matter of guys finding time uh that, that's more of a, a seniors club, uh, you might be able to call it, because everybody in that uh, class is up in age. Um, and being up in age, uh, it runs into time commitments. I mean, they have a chance to get out here as much as they'd like to. There's lots of guys that have cars. They want to get out here, and life commitments get in the way. It was a lot, pretty competitive <clears throat> class today. Then we ran the <laughs> hobbies and the street stocks at the same time together. And it was very busy on track for that one. It, it, it was really good in about, uh, we ran about a 30 lap uh, feature, about 20 laps in, it was really uh, neck and neck. The, the four street stocks, they stayed together. Uh, they started ahead of the hobbies. They ended up catching them and once the street stocks got intermixed with the hobbies, we had a few uh, things crashing and banging and tempers flaring. And uh, They bang into each other a fair bit, those hobbies and the street stock guys. They use their bumpers. Yeah, they're, they're, they're trying to bump draft and <clears throat> two seconds difference in lap times. They'll go from uh, just about on the bumper to contact. <laughs> Yeah, and those guys aren't afraid to use them. No, no, there's uh, most of the guys in street stock, by the time they get there, they're veteran drivers. They've been two, three, four years uh, driving another class or till they're, till they're that. Most of the guys driving now in the, in the street stock are probably 10 plus year veterans. So, and some of the hobby stock guys, uh, <clears throat> we had two rookies out there today that the first time they were on track was today and it was really good they didn't bounce off anybody nobody ran into them so that was uh, very promising to see it's good to see that rookie drivers coming up through these classes are going to get out there and have some fun and learn it yeah yeah they're having a good time and uh, you know. one rookie was uh, spencer jorgensen 16 years old yeah uh son of kevin jorgensen who's a, a veteran street stock racer out here that's his old street stock car it's been uh, tuned down to be a hobby stock and 16 years old, first time out there racing. Um, Darren Breen and Dustin uh, kind of collaborated together on the car. They're uh, running it together. So Dustin drove it in the second heat for the first time being on the track racing. Last couple of years, he's been out there helping other guys. He's been uh, using his truck to do our cleanup and stuff. Has been uh, a great dedicated volunteer out here numerous times. So he's just starting to race. So, Well, we're gonna be back here on Saturday, the 14th of June for points race number two. 
and further on in the season, we're excited for Kids Day. I believe that's July 5th. July 5th, we've got a monster truck coming for uh, kids rides, and we've got a wheel standing, sparking, fire breathing, two wheel stander that's going to make a couple laps around the track on two wheels. So it should be a good, exciting Kids Day with a chance for the kids to get right up close to the cars, too. Yeah, yeah, we've, we're working on getting a few other uh, entertainment things for the kids, uh, face painting and a few other items like that. So things are in the works all the time. So take a look there for uh, Saturday. We'll be back here June 14th and Kids Day, July 5th. Yep. Thanks, Stacy. All right, thanks a lot.